Are you experiencing difficulties with recording with OBS Studio? That is the free screen recorder known as OBS. Probably after recording, you have a blank screen. When you try to play what you have recorded, everything turns black. In this video, I will share with you how to fix this problem so that your OBS Studio will get to work and stop recording blank screen. Please watch till the end because there are two methods of doing this most videos you see online only treated one method which is normal system graphic settings but towards the end of this video i will share with you the second method of doing this which is by using nvidia graphic settings hello everyone my name is pat ugu if you are ready let's dive in Now, let me show you what my system normally do before I fix this problem. When I open OBS Studio, it will show me blank screen like this. Like I have added capture screen, but it's not showing the normal OBS. Even when I remove it by right clicking, then try to add new one, which is display capture give it a name and click ok it will still do the same thing this is because i have an extended graphic card with nvidia so you need to tell your computer that it should not use the normal graphic card for this particular software so for most people all you need to do is to right click at the desktop background and click on display settings once the display setting is on, you scroll down to where you will see graphic settings. From graphic settings, you can change this thing. For some people, depending on the Windows version you are using, you may see classic here. You select the classic. But if what you have is just desktop app, you choose desktop app because OBS is a desktop app. Then the next thing you will do is to click on browse. From browse, you look for OBS. It is here because I have already selected it. So let's assume you haven't done so. All you will need to do is to click on local disk C. From local disk C, you look for program files. Double click on it. Then you look for OBS. OBS Studio. Double click. Then look for a folder known bin. B I N. Double click on it. Then you also see 64 bits, depending if your own is 32 bits. You double click on it. Then you will now see OBS 64. That is what you will need to add. You click on it, then you click on add button. Once this is added, the next thing you will do is to go to options. Because the system automatically choose let Windows decide. But Windows may not be able to decide for this obs so what you will need to do is to choose the second option that is the gpu intel hd graphic once you choose that d you click save and that's all you will need to close your obs it doesn't need restarting of the system just restart the obs studio and for many people this will be fixed but as you can see my own is not fixed that is why I said you should watch till the end so that I will show you the second method of doing this. What is the second method? You will need to change the graphic settings of the NVIDIA graphics. So how do we do this? You need to listen and pay attention. Do not skip the video, otherwise you may mix an important step. So what I will do now is to right click on the desktop screen and click on NVIDIA control panel. After loading, you click on Manage 3D Settings. From there, you click on Program Settings tab. It usually takes some time, so you allow it to load. Then when it's finished loading, you can notice the software that is selected here. What you need to do is to add OBS to this selection. How do you do this? Just click on the Add button then look for obs program in your system 
so this is my OBS studio once I click on it I will click add selection program so after adding OBS the next thing you will need to do is to change these settings from using global settings to integrated graphics once you have done this you apply the settings that you have made after applying the settings you close it and also close OBS you do not need to restart the system just restart OBS and voila we have our OBS ready to record screen this is how to fix blank screen in OBS if you got value from this video please consider subscribing in order to support my work also share the video so that others who may be having this issue will learn from it remember to like this video so that youtube will promote it and show it to others if you have any problem share it in the comment section we also have a video on how to record with OBS. if you haven't watched the video go to the description box and click on the link until next time keep learning